Hello, and welcome to How to Get Started in IT. I'm Cherokee Booth. This week, I'll be addressing a show request I received, and I'll be talking about the importance of diversity in IT. Okay, so I received a request to record a show on women in IT. And this is something that I've contemplated quite often, but for me, I wanted to expand that idea and include diversity in IT. But first, let me tell you a story. My mother was in town recently, and she was looking for something to do with the grandkids. And we ended up coming to this idea of, uh, you know, entering an escape room. It was something new to all of us and had a cool haunted slash paranormal theme. So it sounded really fun. I mean, being locked in a high pressure environment with my family, my mom, two kids ages 13 and 17, and my sister for an entire hour. Sounds like a wonderful idea. I mean, what could possibly go wrong, right? Ah! I can assure you there were no tears. Things were a little intense at times, but something happened that I wasn't really expecting. We escaped. But what I found really surprising is that it wasn't just one person solving all the clues. Just about everyone contributed to solving their the clues in their own unique way. So for instance, my 13-year-old was able to match pitch tones by hitting letter bases that were scattered throughout the room to help decipher a phrase. He looked at those vases from a different perspective and was able to reach a solution that I wasn't able to. And we all share the same DNA. Can you imagine all the different perspectives from people you know, with different ages, cultures, races, genders. Let's take a look at this pool float as an example. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that a woman wasn't given a voice on this product team. And I'm willing to bet that the person who designed this wheelchair ramp has never been a wheelchair user. And you may think, well, how does this pertain to IT? Okay, well, how about application, website, or software developers? Do you design with accessibility in mind? or maybe you're programming an artificial intelligence system. Wouldn't it be great if we program these solutions with a wide perspective? But you don't have to be a programmer or hold a leadership position in your organization to make a difference. Anyone can be an ally and support diversity. And ways you could do that would be through, well, first, a little self-reflection. Are your current actions in line with believing and supporting diversity? Do you share your growth opportunities with your team members? Do you lift others up by advocating for them? If you recognize and are aware of your current actions, it's a lot easier to become more mindful of others. And when you start noticing others exercising inappropriate behavior, if you do, speak out. Hey! And then when people start to notice your adaptation, it may give them the confidence to advocate as well. And if you're one of these individuals who happen to fall into uh, I guess one of these historically underrepresented groups in IT. I know it can be difficult, but I would encourage you to use any negativity as fuel, motivation. Personally, I've made it a point in my career to never be in a position where someone could come to me and say, you're only here because you're a woman. I put in the extra time and effort and I let my work speak for itself. So have confidence in your abilities express appreciation to your advocates, and be an ally yourself. If you'd like to share ways that you support diversity, do so in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm Cherokee Boos, until next time.